I'm continuing to listen to the news, to do research. I go to the top websites, government websites, university websites, health organizations, you know, um, newspapers. Anyway, uh, the news the past few days has been talking about certain ethnic groups that have an unusually higher incidence of contracting the coronavirus. What they don't mention is that these groups have uh, cultural lifestyles that raise the risk to have an underlying condition. An underlying condition would be cardiovascular disease, obesity, diabetes, and these things are all preventable. I've uh, taken notes and I plan to put below the video sites where I'm getting my information from so you can check it out for yourself. Now having a sedentary lifestyle, not getting enough exercise, having a poor diet, being obese, smoking, these raise your risk for cardiovascular disease, for cancer, for high blood pressure, for stroke, for diabetes. So if these three groups that they're talking about, Native and Alaskan Americans, African Americans, and Hispanic Americans, if they're more sus susceptible to the coronavirus, why aren't they mentioning the fact that their rate of obesity and having underlying conditions are present? This is the problem. It has nothing to do with them being Hispanic, Native or Alaskan American, or African American. It has to do with their lifestyle. So the obesity rate is higher in Hispanic Americans, African Americans, and Native Americans. Now, I want to also talk about ventilators. Most people who are put on ventilators because of the COVID-19 virus, it's like a last ditch effort and most people do not survive. Now the ones who survive have most of the time lung damage forever, as long as they're, they're alive. They're either induced into a coma or they're given heavy sedation and they're going in and out of sleep. They can hear who, who's ever speaking in the room. They usually can't speak because they have this tube in their throat connecting to their lungs and the machine is breathing for them. There's a very high rate of pneumonia because the bacteria enters somehow through this tubing in their trachea and in their lungs. And what I was thinking of, if I was near death, I don't want to be unconscious. I don't want to not be able to speak. What if I have some last messages for my loved ones? What if I have some last requests? I can't imagine, I mean, missing the experience of death, something so important. Maybe people want to ask you something. Maybe your family members want to know something or tell you something. I, I can't imagine being unconscious and not being able to experience that. So let's say you're sick with the coronavirus and you're getting worse and worse and they tell you they want to put you on the ventilator. You can say no. There are people, I've heard them on the news, they say no. You don't have to do everything um, the medical people tell you to do. You should definitely have their opinion. They know a lot. They've studied many years. But it's your decision. Everything is your decision. The medicines you take, the machines that are going to be available to help you, whether you want them or not. It's your decision. So, I find it so, 
so annoying um, that they say things like I'm explaining on the news, but they don't they don't give you the other side of the story. They don't tell you why. Why is the population of these eth eth ethnic groups uh, so susceptible? They're giving other reasons that don't make sense. This is the main reason. Lifestyle. The hospitals would empty out during normal circumstances. There would hardly be anyone in a hospital if everyone lived a healthy lifestyle. It's so easy to exercise. Take a walk. Jog in place in front of the television. Eat a few vegetables. Eat a little less fat. Give up alcohol. Now when people are missing their income because they've been laid off of work, isn't this a great time to stop drinking alcohol? It's not necessary anyway. It's expensive. How about stop smoking now? You don't need that extra expense buying cigarettes. Stop chewing tobacco. And how about food? Eat, eat less carbohydrates. Eat, eat less meat. I mean, basically it's so easy to lose weight. Logically, you eat less. You do more exercise. You skip dinner. When I was 193 pounds a few years ago, uh, when was that? 2007. I looked, I still looked good. I felt good, except my feet hurt all the time. But I wasn't healthy. When there's obesity, there's always, always a lack of health. So what was wrong with me back then? Well, my cholesterol was high. That's not good. It's not high anymore. So think about what I'm saying. Always dig deeper whatever you hear on the news because they keep changing their minds anyway. I mean, it seems like several weeks ago they said don't use masks. Now they want us to use homemade masks. So, you know, they're not 100% right either. When, uh, when I was in... Um, Nursing school, I took uh, pharm pharmacology math, of course, and it was the best math teacher I, I ever had. And she said, only mathematics can be proven. Everything else is an opinion. And that's correct. Think about it. 